What's going on, guys, and welcome back to the channel. Now, it is the day we're posting this video is going to be August 6th, which constitutes prime not only back to school season, but also FBM season, right? FBM is, is going to be a way for especially newer sellers to turn over their cash quicker, join maybe more volatile markets, just really create a more risk averse selling atmosphere for themselves, right? Stretch your capital as much as possible, right? Because we're not having to wait for FC transfer time, shipping and handling, getting to the FC centers, all those sorts of things, right? There's a ton of benefits to FBM for newer sellers, or sellers of all levels, but specifically newer sellers this time of year. And it's really going to range from August all the way pretty much to kind of midway through January. So in today's video, we're actually going to dig into how to find FBM friendly leads of all sorts of brands, categories, however, whatever twist you want to put on it, we're going to be specifically looking for quality, profitable, FBM friendly leads, all right? So we're here in Keeper Product Finder. And it's actually gonna be a pretty simple search. The the main search, the main filters we're going to use are going to be as we scroll down. Um, it's gonna be kind of two filters that are gonna really accomplish what we want. The first one is going to be we're gonna tell Keep a Product Finder that we want to only look at products with a third party buy box. Makes sense, right? We don't want to be competing with products where Amazon's sitting inside the buy box. So we're gonna restrict our results to only and solely third party sellers. Now. It's only half the equation, right? The next part is we're going to tell Keepa that we don't want to see any active, right? This is only current markets, current buy boxes. We do not want to see any current FBA holding buy boxes. And if you notice, this is going to do a whole lot to our results. So we're sitting at about 250 million products. If we simply hit this no, right, turn off FBA buy boxes, we're down to um, 150 million products. Now, obviously, no one has time to look through all those products, 150 million products, to kind of pinpoint the products that we want to look into deeper and actually qualify them and, and buy them, right? So here's a good time to maybe add a particular brand that you want, right? We'll also add, because obviously we're joining FBM markets, we're concerned about the current market, not necessarily as much the historical market, because with an assuming FBM, we can buy something that's at our house in a day or two, three days max, it's listed in three days, two days, and we're going to be able to join that market before anything crazy happens, before anything changes too drastically. So we're going to set a max sales rank at about 50,000. And at this point, we're down to about 2 million products, right? So that's really dug into our results. That's really drilled and refined our results down. We still have some more work to do, right? Because I'm not going to sit here and look at the 2 million products. We want a more warm sample set. We want to get it down to a couple thousand, single thousand. So ideally like a four to three digit number, something that's a lot more manageable to work with. Um, so from here, now is a good time. And obviously, currently in August, back to school, a lot of Nike backpacks, things like that. So maybe we want to add some of those filters as a brand, right? So maybe we want to sit or set Nike as a brand filter. Brings us down to 6,000 products. If we want to take it a step further, again, not to repeat it again, but back to school, backpacks, duffel bags, things that kids and parents are buying to get ready for that first school day. So maybe we want to add, I know we've gone through this filter before on this channel, but maybe we want to earn, add the word backpack to the title, the text title of our results. And so what this is ultimately going to do is whoop, it's going to bring back 40 products that are very, very interesting. Have a max sales rank of 50,000. Nike branded, has the word backpack in the title. And also, and most importantly, really the, the sole purpose of our, our search here is their third party FBM buy boxes. And so these are gonna be really as warm, as interesting of results as we could possibly get. And being that there's only 40 left, they're probably gonna be pretty interesting. And so if we really start to dig into these results, again, we know a bunch about these products already. They're FBM friendly, the sales rank, and all of all of them across the board are a lot lower than historical. We would expect that obviously being mid-April or mid-August, back to school season, and so in theory, right, if we start to click into some of these, all we need to do is really find markets where we can join them profitably, 
right? That's the last piece of the puzzle. We know they're moving fast. We know we'll be able to join the market in and out, getting getting in there very quickly because obviously we don't have to wait for all the FBA times. Um, so in this case, and we could also validate kind of our results by going to the data buy box statistics. And we're going to see a breakdown of all the FBM and FBA sellers. So if we wait as this loads, all the checkboxes are actually FBA sellers. The lines that are not checked are FBM. And you can see tons and tons and tons in action of action are all going to FBM by our sellers, which is what we anticipated. And so as we start to source this back to our site, again, given our price points, probably going to have to be around $20, around $22, $23, something in that, like that, right? Probably about that $22 range. Obviously, we see a lot of the activity nowadays is 43 44 Maybe we can stretch it to potentially 46 But if we dig into really what's going on right now, the max we're going to be able to anticipate is probably somewhere around that 45 to 44 range. So we know exactly what we're going to be needed to buy it at. So if we price it at 44 Again, our max is probably about $24, $23. And so we'll be able to dictate and understand pretty quickly what our margin and what our expected um, potential is. $27 at Academy is interesting, right? Because as we start to work through a lot of this, you know, manufacturing margin, margin talk, we know there's different sites that have sorts, different sorts of sales. For example, Academy likely has a 10% off coupon we can use. Right, ten percent off your next person to join for free, and so this price is not necessarily going to be the price that we're actually buying at. Twenty-seven dollars minus ten percent, uh, so it brings us about to where we're kind of needing to be about that twenty-four, twenty-five range, something like that. Right, so we're about twenty-four. Ship it to a no sales tax state. Hopefully, if you're living there, then that's game on. Uh, if not, of course, obviously, we're going to have to deal with that sales tax, which can be, become problematic. If you're in California, Texas, New York, probably going to make this not profitable. But that's essentially how we're doing it, right? We use this Keeper Product Finder search to essentially narrow down a subset of products that are, at this point in time, interesting. Again, we can join the market quickly. Um, a lot of velocity, a lot of things happen. They're very FBM friendly. Um, and at that point, we just need to kind of find where that buy cost makes sense. And I'm telling you guys, if you go through this list of 40, 40 products, backpacks, probably some interesting products to be found. Now we can alter it just a bit, right? That's the kind of methodology that you can apply to whatever sorts of search you want to do, right? So we take off backpack, maybe you want to add Adidas, right? Maybe you want to add duffel bag to the title. Maybe we just want to use Crayola, right? Same practice applies across the board here. It's just going to essentially dictate the sorts of products that we're looking at. And the 92 products of Crayola, all FBM friendly, all moving very fast. Of course, we can see the two-digit sales ranks, which, which tell me that they're, they're flying. Um, so definitely some more interesting products for here for you guys to look at um, and make some money on. So that's it for today's video. If you did like it, share it with a friend, like, uh, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.